government has concluded the consideration of the proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values bill. What is next now for the bill is to be taken through the third reading and then being passed. But some winnowing will have to be done before. And if any member has any other issue, a second consideration will have to be done. But if there is nothing of that sort, the third reading and passage will be done. And then the bill will be taken to the presidency for the president to sign for it to become law. Bernard Ahianfo is the ranking member of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. There is a specific provision that proscribes funding, sponsoring or promoting LGBTQ activities. Whoever does that is guilty of an offense punishable by a minimum three years and a maximum five years. He says the three years minimum and five years maximum jail term is sufficient for such promoters and financiers. Left to me alone, the minimum should have been five years and maximum ten years. We are being magnanimous with the punishment in this case. Our prison is choked. Therefore, we should allow the activities of the LGBTQ. Our prison is choked, therefore armed robbery should be allowed. Our prison is choked, therefore the rapist must go scot-free. Those who defy must go scot-free, definitely. They must be punished. So Parliament will continue to make law to proscribe activities that are not in conformity with our culture values. The Proper Human Sexual Rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill has been in Parliament for almost three years. Evelyn Tengma, TV3 News, Parliament House.